Joe Tryon is a guy that, as Jeff mentioned, opted out. Now, what happened? He opted out, and when the Pac-12 decided they were going to play, he had already signed with an agent, so he couldn't repay the fees, so there was no way he could play. So Joe Tryon talked about that, and he said, you know, he missed his, his season, uh, but was working hard to get better. Let's listen to Joe Tryon. I mean, obviously not playing is, you, know, you, you get forgotten about, but at, at the end of the day, I know what I'm capable of, and I'm not worried about, you know, what, what everyone else got to say. But, you know, I know I know what I've done to separate myself, you know, whether that's being in the film room all the time, you know, studying a lot of tape as much as I can, you know, because I didn't get the chance to play. But, you know, just trying to separate myself in any way, whether that's, you know, physically preparing myself like I did, leaving, a, leaving school early, preparing myself, you know, to become a pro early. I feel like I gave myself a huge advantage. You know, I'm excited to land on the team and get ready to go. And that is Joe Tryon, and uh, let's bring Jeff Risden back in. Jeff, uh, you certainly like to hear that from a young guy. Um, made it sound like, you know, yeah, I opted out, but I was working at it. Yeah, and, and there's no question that he's still been working at his game. And I think that's true for, for just about all the guys who opted out. They made a business decision. They know that their future life is in football, and they're pursuing it. Uh, there's Obviously, without playing, you're not, you're not going to get better at the on-field stuff. But in terms of learning how to watch film better, um, learning how to train better, um, getting up getting up to speed in, in terms of like nutrition and things like that. Those are things that you don't necessarily get at college that they can work on before it. So he didn't get the playing reps and, and that is important. But uh, the fact that he can do a lot of other things and, and clearly did um, and is proud of it, uh, I think that that sort of eases some of the concerns about a guy who opted out. Not, not just try on, there's a ton of opt outs this year uh, who are gonna get drafted high. Uh, and uh, how the league handles them, that that's actually one of the big questions that a lot of us in the draft media have going into the draft is how, how is the NFL going to punish them for sitting out? And I kind of think there's just so many of them that they can't, but uh, it will be, will be interesting to see that follow that storyline play out over the weekend.